what's up? How's it going? Today we're going to go over how to draw a jester skull. Uh, number two, I guess, because there was another jester skull before. Go check that other video out later after this if you enjoy this. So let's get started, okay? First thing, I'm going to use by this, by the way, a Crayola um, marker. They're really good markers, and there is uh, regular printing paper. So let's jump into this. First thing I do is I'm going to go and make one of the eye sockets. And I'm thinking of that almost like a rounded, uh, a rounded off square. Here's the other eye socket, another rounded off square, so they look like marshmallows, right? Upside, well, a triangle for the nostril area. The, this middle shape right here is very different. So let's fill in these shapes just to kind of get it out of the way now. Fill it in over here. There. Line in, line in here for this kind of angry skull shape. I'm going to curve along the outside here for the brow. See the brow line? The brow bone. Line here for the brow as well. And I draw a line down here where the brow ends. Line up, line up, down, out here. Out here, line in, line in, line in for the kind of the dimples here, the sacred, or I don't know what they call them, dimples in the, it, there you see them in skulls a lot, you know, these kind of cool dimples. Also, don't forget, Hit the subscribe button if you want to bring the Halloween uh, season in early. Uh, it's about three months out from Halloween, and I am already making videos. I'm super, super, super excited. As you can tell, that's why I'm making videos all, all the time. And I'm going to make a bunch of videos. I'm going to try at least every day. So, uh, But like I said, it will notify you if you click that bell notification as well after you subscribe. So definitely do that. And also, press the like button if you do like this kind of stuff. Um, line over here. Line over here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the kind of just the top row of teeth. We're not, I'm not going to draw the under part. The other one I drew the under part. This one I'm going to draw just the top row of teeth. So go off here, down, off here, down. I Up here I'm going to make the teeth a little jaggedy, kind of real. line over here for each tooth like so and line across here for the hat we're gonna throw that jester hat on maybe some lines here for the gum line to kind of show the thickness of this uh, gum line you know holding in holding in the teeth line over here underneath the eyes just a bit here to kind of show the aging of it and line over here line over here for the kind of the how you said the brim of that that jester hat and we're going to continue to right there and draw that brim okay so let's draw one of the basically imagine a squishy triangle that's kind of aiming downward from gravity. Right here. Same thing on this side. Again, kind of a squishy triangle that's coming down from gravity. Maybe one right here as well. It's coming forward at the camera. Line over here. And another one over here. Circle. 
circle, circle, circle. I can draw that little circle a little bit smaller because I already kind of drew that other one on there. Okay, and then I'm going to draw some lines over here, kind of like as if those were separated out. And I'm going to draw a line across here. Like this, like they were like sewn in, right? That's that's the whole point, the sewing lines. All right, on. I'm gonna go over here and give a little darkness to kind of this pit in this area. A little darkness over here to the bottom of that area. And I'm gonna throw a little bit of darkness over here at the bottom because I want it to look like there's it's kind of heavy, you know? Like the the sun or whatever, the light source from above, almost always. And there's like some darkness just at the below to give it like some weight on paper. I'll do that over here as well. Everything that's aiming downward, I'm gonna throw a thicker line on it to give it some form of mass. And I guess I'll do that here as well. And draw a line in between here. So that's mostly, mostly it. That is that's a, another version of a jester skull. You can always throw like a pattern on there. But so uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If what I do here is worth your time, if you like scary drawings, if you like Halloween-related drawings, um, hit that like and share button. Basically, when you share the video, it's going to uh, kind of go out to more people and it's going to bring the Halloween spirit in general to more people, which is kind of my main goal with this channel, to bring the Halloween kind of vibe to people. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. You are amazing. And uh, I really, really appreciate it. If you have any questions, by the way, just comment and I will answer them. Hey, wait. Oh, excuse me. <sighs> All right, it's kind of late. It's kind of late at night when I'm recording this. But, um, uh, but yeah. I hope you guys are doing amazing and uh, let me know your journeys and uh, I'll, I'll give you all kinds of advice that will help your drawings along and that's kind of the point of this. So I will talk to you next time and I will see you very soon. I'm Enrique and I'll see you soon, okay? See you tomorrow.